Yo, what is up guys? Jin and I gaming over here, and today we're gonna be covering update 2.0 that just came to Destiny, showing you a whole bunch of things that come in the Taken King, which is pretty damn badass. Sorry this video's kinda late, the update took like two days to download. Kinda does that on Xbox. That kinda pissed me off because I wanted to make a video right when it came out, but then the update sticks a middle finger at me and says, I'm sorry, we're gonna have to take a couple days. So let's just go straight in. We're about to load into the character screen, and pretty much all the menus have changed. Just preparing for Taken King, which is damn, which is pretty damn cool. They show some weapons from Taken King, some exotics. I'll be showing you everything that's going on that you guys need to know. So let's just go right into it. If the game would load. So as you can see here, the character screen. Now there is no little light icon next to your level because they abandoned light levels. There's still light, but light levels are completely different now. It's just XP now for levels, thank god. Light was getting really annoying. Even Bungie thought it was a good idea to get rid of them because you couldn't get to a certain level because you had you didn't have a certain piece of armor. That was pretty stupid. And, oh, this is pretty cool. Just showing you some stuff going on. Arms days today where you can test out a whole bunch of new Taken King weapons. The common weapons are stronger than the legendaries. That's pretty damn weird. So let's go straight in to the menu. As you can see here, the Crucible menu looks a lot different. The Vanguard menu looks a lot different. Everything pretty much changed here except really the in-depth planet menus. As you can see, the Reef, the menu looks exactly the same. But it has a cool little Reef letters at the bottom left. That looks pretty cool. Earth, and they now added the names of them, I think, in, like, Boulder. Here's the Taken King stuff. If you pre-ordered and you got codes, you can be putting those in right now. So make sure you do that. Mars looks no different. So let's go straight into the tower, where all the good stuff is. So let's just fly in straight out of Destiny. If it would load... So, just to keep the conversation going, the Taken King introduced a whole bunch of new menu stuff, as you can see, just some new icons, the ghost shell icon, class items have defense now, and everything got pretty much nerfed but buffed at the same time. And the emocons are here, which I don't see any point for them to be there, because you could just use the d-pad, but I don't know, they're just there. See, light is now everything you're wearing, but it has nothing to do with your level, which I really like. The little class item logos have changed. And we are finally here, so let's go straight in. I actually check my special stuff, just checking if my VIP awards were there. Sadly, there weren't, so I was... I was cringing. So let's go straight to the gunsmith, where I know new stuff is there. As you can see at the bottom, the XP bar is there. So, here's the gunsmith. You could start earning reputation for him right now. Here are the common weapons, see it's stronger than a legendary primary, that's pretty weird, but... Legendary marks are here, but you can't use them yet. And he's just selling some regular stuff. So let's go inspect one of these guns. This looks pretty cool for a uh, common, I mean, that looks pretty damn badass. So that's enough with the gunsmith, let's check if the Cryptarch's got anything new. Sadly, he doesn't. Just, I'm just gonna decrypt this engram. He's not even selling engrams, just preparing for the Taken King. So, let's go to where the real magic happens, and that's the Hall of Vanguards, where a whole bunch of new stuff is going on. So, let's just get into it. First things first, Eris Morn is here now, which is pretty cool. I mean, she just changed positions, and she has more XP now, so you can go beyond level 4 and just get a whole bunch of stuff. So... Yeah, I guess I guess that's kind of cool, and I just accidentally clicked on something. something. Crucible vendor, nothing new, it's just his regular stuff. Earn your honor. So let's go to where some new stuff is. Let's go to the Hunter Vanguard Cade. So he gives you a quest, and I think all of your vanguards give you a quest, depending on which class you are. Here's the quest; you can read that if you want. I knew it. Path of the Blade Dancer, he gives me this little cloak, but I'm not dismantling any of my stuff right now because, I mean, I love my hey, little collection of cloaks, and up. boom, exotic blueprints everywhere. So that's pretty cool. Sorry, I just burped. 
So here's where all your blueprints will go. Even your year one blueprints are here. Even all the exotics you don't have. That's pretty sick. I don't have bones at EO, but they're here and they show me how to get them. So let's move on to what you guys really want. After I just accidentally, I guess, click that. The weapon blueprints, which is what you guys really want to see. Year two weapons are here. Boom, they have 280 attacks. Sadly, no previews except Suros regime is here. The rest just look like their year one counterparts. As you can see, Thunderlord looks exactly the same, but in its little picture, it looks different. Red Death looks exactly the same, but now we're going to go to the real big boy, and that's Suros. Suros looks like Darth fucking Vader now. That's pretty damn badass. I want that year two Suros. Last Words little picture looks completely different, but on the picture, it looks exactly the same. Truth looks like a nuclear warhead in his picture, but here it just looks exactly the same. And I forgot to cover Invective. Here's all the year one exotics. And let's actually check out the armor, if there's any previews for armors. Mask of the Third Man looks exactly the same. So let's just keep going to do what we were doing before. I don't know why I was doing this, but hey, I was just being an idiot while recording this. But let's keep going. Boom. New menu change. The quest pages here. As you can see, all your quests will be here and all your reputation for everything from the Queen to Cryptarch. Friends list looks d exactly the same. Let's go to the inventory. As you can see, your bounty slots are now, I think, 15 bounty slots. That's pretty cool. But other than that, the inventory hasn't really changed. Let's go to the speaker where he is housing all a whole bunch of cool stuff. And let's check out the emblems and shaders coming to the Taken King. So let's just go ahead and run there. So, tons of Taken King stuff is going to be covered on the channel. Just wanted to let you guys know that while we're just having our little run to the place. So, let's just make a right here, go to the little terminal, and check this thing out. As you can see, your emblem collection's here. Every emblem you have and every emblem you don't have is here. Here's some Taken King ones if you guys want to see that. I'll save the best for last. Kind of... Slightly skipping over the coolest emblem, which is going to be on the next page. Just some faction emblems, some raid emblems, some other emblems, promotional emblems. And wait until you guys see this. The King's Fall Raid emblem. That, that looks pretty sick. Has the Taken King logo on it. That's pretty cool. Let's go to the see if the shader girl's got anything new. Okay, Hunter. Nope, same shit. Okay. She has that one Taken King shader, but it doesn't look all that cool, so I didn't even bother showing it. Now let's go to our final destination, the speaker. And he is selling something you pretty return. cool, so I wanted to show you that. Boom. He's selling ghost shells. I'm going to be showing you a couple. He has them from level 32 to 36. Here's this little ghost shell. It has... Discipline and intellect and strength, they all show you all those. I'm just gonna buy a level 36 one, I mean, why the hell not? It belongs in yeah, screw it. Time. We need so now let's it. check out the go- oh wow, I always get mixed up where the ghosts are. I thought it was locked to your ghost, so I was like, what? But nope, here it is, just being cool. And as you can see, everything has been kind of nerfed, changed to like a lower damage. So that about wraps it up for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Sorry this is very late. I kind of completely forgot just to do this like at night. But it took a wild update anyway. So also make sure you stay tuned till the end where I have this cool little outro thing of the Destiny ship. Looks if pretty I'm damn cool. Work in progress. Pretty much has nothing really much. So hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all later. Whatever hides in plain sight is making its own plans.